So if you want to run Kubernetes locally, but don't want to run all the monstrous machinery that makes Kubernetes Kubernetes, Kind will run it in a single container, so it's very lightweight. And then you can try out all these things. You can actually see uh, the configurations for local, and they get applied across like a base set of configurations. So the base configuration says you're going to have a Django backend, you're going to have a Next.js frontend, you're going to deploy a mail hog for like simulating email, you're going to deploy a Postgres instance, so we have a database, a, a Valky or a Redis instance, so we have the you know, some kind of object cache stuff there. The local instance of them use these settings, and the sandbox instance uses these couple modifications. Like there's okay. a different database string. You know, we're going to launch into AWS instance with this VPC and this control plane for Kubernetes, and then production has yet again these refinements to that set of settings. So you're not duplicating all the infrastructure and deployment YAML pieces for every environment. You're just telling custom using the tool called Customize make these subtle changes that are different for production and different for sandbox, different for local. Because in okay. local, we want to run full debug modes and all the logs. In production, we want none of that stuff. They're slightly configured differently, even yeah. though they're both running potentially the same containers. 